Let's head for the Windsor Condominiums. Get that security leveled up. Great. Grab a bit of disguise while we're here. A little bit of stealth, too, by the looks of things. All right. Ah, Clive, you just go. It's okay, Clive. Didn't fully level up disguise there. We'll go take care of it now. There we go. That's the security leveled up. Act natural. Fade into the shadows. Nice. Nice. Wonderful. Okay. We're going to celebrate, not by immediately engaging in violence, by heading for the crack house. We're going to see if we can find some uh, intriguing mutants or transients to pick up here uh, to potentially recruit. Uh, prostitutes and crackheads, maybe? Uh, but they start with negative juice. Prostitutes start with a criminal record. They're wanted for prostitution. Uh, the negative juice you can work through using community service. And the criminal record, I mean, whoop de fucking do right? Uh, but they're also unlikely to have attributes that I'm looking for in a violent party. Folks who have agility and strength and health, I'd like them. But the character classes, the types, the actors who would be suited to have those things almost predominantly show up conservative right now, given the, the state of the country and public opinion. So... We're going to look for mutants who are guaranteed to pop up as liberal and could have some amazing attribute arrays, and transients can turn out pretty alright for us, too. And won't start off with a criminal record or negative juice. You know, I'm not looking to assemble a team of all mutants to take advantage of the glorious arch-conservative laws, but if it happens, it happens. Not gonna happen with you. No. That ah, right there is not a good sign. Oh my science, we've got to do something! We sure do. How about you? 50s? Okay. Gonna be an age penalty there, but... That'll be fine. Let's work through it. Political favors are bought and sold for campaign contributions. The voting system enforces two-party dominance. Dear me, is there anything we can do? I don't know. We might be hooped. Despite our progress, the society is still strangled by its continuing legacy of racial discrimination and inequality. Now, once upon a time, far, far back in the history of Liberal Crime Squad, you could organize tons of meetings simultaneously, line up a bunch of dates, too, and just mow through them all. But that was understandably limited. Uh, if you try to schedule too many meetings in a day, your character will just forget to have those meetings, and those people can be lost to the ether. You can juggle potentially like nine, ten folks, maybe even a dozen. But, like, those gems that you might be working on could just be lost to the ether. It's like, no! You miss a meeting one day. It's tragic. Like, damn. Use a phone or something. Come on. Terrible. Anyway, we'll work on arranging one more meeting. You. The police regularly torture minority suspects during interrogations. So we have Annis Pfeiffer here. Intelligence of eight. Charisma of eight. Yeah. Health of two? Ugh. Agility two? Ugh. <laughs> Definitely would not be on Team Kick-Ass. No. Could definitely do stuff with Ennis, but it would not be punching people to death. Hilda here. A mutant. Health 10, Charisma 13, Heart 13, Agility 7, Strength 8. Just not good enough, man. We don't have any money trick these people to stay with us. Brittany Zito, Zito there. Intelligence of 10. 
Linus Linville. <laughs> talking about yeah yeah I guess I should have just arranged meetings with everyone I could <laughs> that uh that's heartbreaking heartbreaking to see that leave come on Linus you know I don't recall this needs more experience prompt. I recall thinking back and all my time spent playing Liberal Crime Squad. It's hey, you you off you you know you said something really off putting, moved on. This whole needs more experience thing that doesn't sound like a needs more persuasion thing. It sounds like a needs more juice thing. Yeah, this must be something that uh, was been added in uh, this iteration of Liberal Crime Squad. All right. I mean, sure. Characters who are too good, too highfalutin, just not good enough to recruit them. Uh, but we're certainly good enough to have Bree. Great. All right, you heard the game. Let's, let's fucking go. Fucking go get some more juice. show you that I need more experience. I'll miss you, Linus. You'll be the one who got away. Single tear rolls down my cheek. You're the reason these kids have to be punched. <laughs> this is your fault! Oh, well. If, if nothing else, if we never see a uh, character so delightful, I will have demonstrated the the potential power of the mutant. It's been shown off throughout the series I've done, but just in case you were unaware. There we go. We got a count of assault on our criminal record now. Finally! What a time to be alive! Programmer! <sighs> they run too quickly. I tell you what. How are you supposed to get any good licks? Let's go now to Wagner Park. Engineer, no. Teenager? All right, that's another kill. That's us at 57 juice now. Attributes have gone up. We can have an extra recruit. Woo! Dodge is close to two. Huzzah. Let's leave. You ready to write fight for the Liberal Crime Squad? I'm, I'm not ready for you to fight. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Let's have one more punch fest. <laughs> All right, the office worker didn't have a gun. Yay. Okay. Three counts of murder and one count of assault. Hot damn. 59 juice or a socialist threat. Had to get more experience. I'll show you, game. More experience. How dare you. I'm convinced you don't really fucking understand the problem, but if I beat up enough teenagers, <laughs> I will understand the problem. I'll show you all. Motherfuckers. <laughs>